this occasion today with ASL. I talked to Merle. I asked if he had seen uh, Avatar 2. Um, my finger spelling, I don't think, is as good as I thought it was because there was some miscommunication. Um, but also, I didn't specify it was a movie until later in the conversation, so that could also contribute to it. But, um... He has not seen it, which I didn't think he had seen it, but I wanted to tell him that it has sign language in it, and not ASL, but Navi sign language. Um, so that was fun, and he said he would watch it, and so I don't, I don't know when, because he'll have to go out of town. We live in a small town. Our small town does not have subtitles. So uh, that's a fun thing to talk about. I'm really enjoying being able to communicate with Merle. I told him that I missed him because he was sick, and then I could talk to him when he was sick. So, uh, yeah. But uh, the momentous occasion is I so badly wanted to use my sign language abilities, my very, very small sign language abilities, to talk bad about somebody at work. <laughs> Okay, it's not as bad as it sounds, okay? But I just so wish that, like, one of the other coworkers I work with, aside from Merle, because he's the janitor, um, the custodian, and he leaves, like, at 9.30 in the morning. 9 o'clock, I think, is actually, like, his final hour, but he, st eats, he stays a little bit, so, like, 9.30. Um, and so he's gone during the day. Like, I only see him when I work the morning opening shifts. So I so wish that somebody else on in my, on my job sp used sign language because I so badly wanted to say something in sign language and just... <sighs> I had to hold it in. So... That's all I wanted to say. That is all I wanted to say, okay? And I could not do it. So, thank you so much for coming to this segment of the vlog. Though I feel like my sign language vlogs kind of suck because, well, it's... I don't know, but... It is the 22nd of January, which means this vlog has almost been going on for a month, so... You get to see the whole month of January from me. <laughs> and I haven't actually studied sign language in probably like a week. Uh, if you don't count the little bit of practice I had with Merle, then a week. <laughs> and I really need to get back into it, but I started college last week, so I didn't study any of my languages, which really just makes me sad. Um, but I'm going to study some sign language right now, actually. And I'm going to do it a little bit differently because... I'm using a book. Uh, this was a gift to me, and it was a gift to that person as well. It is called The Joy of Signing by Lodiel. Mm -hmm. Yes, that person. And it's not a new copy, as you guys can tell. Like, the pages are kind of, they're not too yellow, but, you know, it's not the newest book. So I don't know how accurate this stuff in here is going to be, but this right here is what I'm so excited for. Because, look at this, guys. It's literally, like, paragraphs to explain to you how the language works. To tell you the science of the language. Do you guys know how excited I am for this? I am so freaking excited for this. If you don't know why I'm excited to have this information in a book format, it's because in my first ASL vlog, where I kind of, like, got back into learning the language, I um, watched videos on the grammar in ASL and struggled with it. <laughs> and I still don't know the actual word, word order very well. So the fact that I can now read it is very exciting for me. Maybe, like, maybe it'll help it click more than in a video because I'll, like, actually get to, like, read it physically. I don't really know, but it's, like, another way of learning the same thing, which can help you learn it more. So I'm very excited for that. And then also, what am I going to use this book for? Because there are, like, thousands of signs in here. Thousands, probably. Probably just, like, hundreds. But there's a lot of signs in here. And obviously, learning sign language from a book is very difficult. So what I'm gonna do is more of use this book as a vocabulary list and just kind of go through it and maybe read what the sign is about. And then also use my tablet and go onto my ASL dictionary app. It's called Pocket Sign. Um, and I'm going to 
use that and put the word into there and get a video of the person showing it. And then I will keep it up here, hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, that's kind of like the idea. This is obviously subjected to change as I use the book. But right now I'm going to enjoy the smell of an old book um, and read a little bit about the grammar. And uh, then I'm going to start learning some science with the book. So, this is a fun turn of events. I did not know I was going to get this, but I'm uh, very grateful to have this in my possession for the beginning stage of this. Okay, so I just finished the first chapter in this book. Some of these, like, these don't line up to what the ASL pocket sign app I use to get video formats of. They don't exactly match, so I'm trusting the video format more than this. Um... But I finished the first chapter, and even though it's not super, like, important stuff that I'm going to use every day, eventually to get fluent, I'm going to need to know this. Um, I don't really know the sign for twins. This is not, this does not match what the video showed me, but the video, I also can't get a good view of how her fingers are placed, so I need to look at twins. But other than that, I think I got good videos of all of these, and uh, Bill actually taught me these two pages, uh, not this one, but the rest of them. So now we're on to personal pronouns, question words, and endings. And the star is not mine, that's already here, but I think I might know a lot of these. Um, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. But now I'm off to work, so.